All right, let me show you how to solve this exercise. So how to find the candidate keys given the, this relation and the functional dysfunctional dependencies. So if I have this relation and these functional dependencies, I'm going to start by the edge diagram. So from A and B, from these two attributes, I can go, I can find D and I can also find E. From E, I can find B. So from E, I can go to B. From B, I can go to C. So from B, I can go to C. Well, now what I want to know is what are my essential attributes. So essential attributes are attributes that don't have any incoming edges. So A doesn't have any incoming edge. So it's essential because I cannot find it by any other attribute, through any other attribute. So A must be part of my candidate key. Now B as an incoming edge, C as an incoming edge, D also and E also. They all have incoming edges except A. So my first attempt is to try to find the relation by calculating the closure of A of my essential attribute. So from A I can trivially go to A. Now can I go anywhere else? So I have A but I need A and B to determine D and E. So this one is not valid in our case. So I don't have E and I don't have B. So A is not a candidate key. When this happens I must combine A with the other attributes. So let me combine A with B, A with C, A with D, and A, sorry, A with E. Now I'm going to calculate the closure of each of these combinations. So let's start by A and B. So if I have A and B, I can trivially find A and B. I can also, having A and B, find D and E. So I have A and B and I can also go to D and to E. Can I go anywhere else? I have E, I can go to B. But I have E, but I also have B. So I don't care about this functional dependency for now. But from B I can go to C. I don't have C and I have B. So I can find it now. So A, B, C, D and E. So this is the relation, therefore we have a candidate key. Now from A, C I can trivially find A and C. If I have A and C, can I go anywhere else? Now I have A, B, E, B, but I don't have A, C here, so I cannot find anything else. So this won't be a candidate key. What about from A, D? Well, trivially I can go to A, I can go to D. Now that I have A and D, can I find something else? Mm, no. So this cannot also be a candidate key. Now let's try with A and E. I can go to A and E. Now that I have A and E, can I find something else? A, E, so this is not A, E, but I have E here, right? And E alone can give me B. So I have E, I can take E alone and I can get B. So A can get B and E. <coughs> now, can I get anything else? Okay, from B, can I go to C? Well, now I have B. I can go to C. So A, B, C and E. Let's go back. Let's restart. So I have A, B. Now I can go to D, E. So I have A, B here. I can go to D and to E. E is already present, but I didn't have D. So A, B, C, D, E. This is the relation. Therefore, I have another candidate key. <coughs> Although AC and AD are not candidate keys, if they are combined with any other attribute, they might become candidate keys. So let's try that. Let's start with 
AC. So AC, well, I cannot combine it with A because I already have A. I can combine with B. Well, I could combine with B, but I know that uh, candidate key cannot be reducible. And ACB will be reducible to this candidate key. So this is a superset of this candidate key. Therefore, this won't be a candidate key. What about AC with the C no with D? Okay, let's see. Is this a subset of any candidate key? I have a candidate key AB and AE. So this is not a superset of any of these candidate keys. Therefore, let me try it. So let me calculate the closures, the, the, the closure of this set of attributes. And let's see, from A, I can go to A, C and D. So from A, C, D, I can go to A, C, A, C, D trivially. Now that I have A, C, D, where can I go? Where else can I go? So I have A, B, I need A, B together to determine D. So this is not useful now. I don't have E and I don't have B. So this cannot be a candidate key. Now, what about A, C and E? Well, if you notice, A and E is a candidate key, and therefore this would become a superset of this candidate key, so this cannot be a candidate key. Okay. <clears throat> now, that I have this, I could try to combine this one, A, C, D, or with A, no, with B, it would become a superset of this one, so it's not good. A, C, D, with C, no, with E, it would become A, E, a superset of A, E, so this cannot also be candidate key, so we have no other combination. Now, we have to take care of this one, so let's try A, D, with A. Well, with A that doesn't make any sense, so A, D with B. Same situation here, this would be a superset of a candidate key, so this is not an option. A, D with C. Well, it's not a superset of any of the candidate keys, it's not a superset of A, B, nor A, E. Therefore, we could try this one. But if you, if you notice, this one is the same as this, right? ACD or ADC is the same, it doesn't matter the order of the attributes. So this one is already tested, so we don't need to go further here. What about AD with E? Again, this is a superset of one of the candidate keys, so this one is not an option either. Therefore, we have no other options, so the candidate keys, candidate keys, are A, B, and A, E. There we go.